Okay, so here we are, back at Earth. For the first time in about five, four or five years. Um, I guess the Shimmer decided to just keep the Urquan Starbase because it looked pretty cool. Um, in fact, they look like their Starbase are pretty much based off the Urquan ones, but is Commander Hay still here? That's the question. Well, well. Look who's coming to town. Long time no see, eh, Captain? My god, he sounds very similar to me. That's amazing. His voice has changed certainly quite a lot over these last five years, but whatever. More minerals? The more minerals you bring us, Captain, the better fleet we'll be able to build for you. Okay, nice. So, we just need to get more minerals. We can start building more Shamur ships. Um, but, um, yeah, what does uh, Commander Hayes think of the Discovery? What does he think of it? Ah, oh, the Explorer. the Explorer. The famed joint effort of the new Alliance in the area of spacecraft engineering. Although, to be fair, the Shamur easily pitched in most of the tech. Designed mainly for long-range discovery missions and planetary exploration. The Explorer is a first response ship, fast yet versatile. It is not a mining ship, Captain, so you have very limited room for mineral cargo, nor have you much need for that. The Shimmer provide all we need from their vast pools of mineral wealth. In spite of that, you still have room for three planetary landers, and highly sophisticated analysis and containment system exists for taking samples of biological life that should provide most useful when dealing with the Melnorme. Those guys still have a hankering for biodata in this galactic quadrant. Though it makes one wonder. What are they exactly doing with all that data? But, back to your ship. The fuel tank of 200 standard units should get you pretty far, Captain. In addition, you can fit up to six escort ships into the Explorer's flight hangar. So yeah, that's weird, because it says it's called the Discovery there, but it's actually called the Explorer, so that might be a bug, but... Whatever, doesn't matter. So what does he think? Oh, is there bad things? Now, for the bad news. All of that paraphernalia takes up a lot of room on your ship, as enormous as it is, so certain equipment just wouldn't fit on board. For example, there's an absolute minimum of dynamo units. To cope with the lack of batteries, a couple of low-energy iron bolt guns serve as your primary weapon. The guns consume your batteries still pretty rapidly, whilst being on the inaccurate side, so... Just... if I were you, I'd bet my money on the so-called secondary weapon. The Confusion Blaster. Based on Melnorme technology, with a few additions of our own, the blaster creates a stasis field around the enemy ship, which will jam its controls momentarily. To get the most out of your weapons, use them in tandem. Approach your target, disable it with the confusion blaster, and let them have it. By then, your batteries will be depleted, so you run like hell. Okay, so it's not the best fighter. Um... I guess it is not meant for fighting, but what about the current news around this area? The talk of the town is your mission, Captain. A group of Shofixti reconnaissance ships has gone missing, leaving no trace. So, we give you the task. To find them. Why are those so special? One might ask. You know, with the Korar on the loose, and the Kazerza lurking God knows where, it's hardly surprising to lose some ships. We have had our share of cruisers gone missing as well. What makes this case different, though, is the partial Mayday message the Shamur were able to record before the transmission died down. Though garbled, the message was definitely referring to machinery. Dangerous, and not some small one at that. We might be talking about something of planetary scale here. This transmission supposedly initiated during an orbital scan, was quickly cut short with distress calls, shrieks, the exchanges we've been able to analyze don't make much sense, but for one word that's repeated several times, gravity. I would have brushed that off as random junk as the rest of the recordings, but as a little bit later, our cosmologists came forth with abnormal messages. They recorded just at the time of the accident. 
they indicate that something resembling strong gravitational lenses formed all around this quadrant in a matter of seconds and vanished about just as quickly. One more thing, I suspect there are others looking for whatever the Shafixti found. Keep an eye out for strange ships when you drop out of hyperspace. If you see one, it's a good bet you found the Shofixti crash site. Be careful out there, Captain. This does not sound good to me. You know, that doesn't sound good at all. That that sounds like we're working with the powerful stuff here, but whatever. Yeah, why, why can't we fly out further than just like the North Quadrant? Can we not go back up where the Oakwick were and well, stuff? Well, you're needed here, Captain. The Shofixti patrol went missing in this part of the galaxy. For us, it is uncharted territory. They are a long way from home and possibly under dangerous circumstances. What's more, there might be technology from a foreign civilization involved. You have experience on all of these matters. Having seen by far the most action of all the pilots we have, and being a natural with first contact situations, you have the best chances of rescuing the Shofixti or at least finding out what happened to them. Fair enough, I guess they need us here to um, to find out what happened, so... Do there's anything more we need to ask? It's goodbye. Bon voyage, Captain. Goodbye, Commander Hayes. It's been good meeting you again, after all these years. And he's still the base commander at Sol. It's awesome. Uh, so let's just fuel up. As you said, he's got a lot of fuel. Um, so that's pretty much uh, one of the greatest things about the ship is that we don't have to buy loads of fuel units, uh, fuel like uh, canisters. We just stock up on fuel straight away. We started with 200 fuel compared to the 10 in the original game, um, which is awesome. So we can just start flying around, finding out stuff. Um, so it's probably best we go down to the show 60 now because we want to work out um, exactly where these things were, where these things went. So then we can make, uh, we can we can match up the range, like the general radius of where the uh, crash site is, with the what the Shamur said, with the actual um, locations of where they sent their scouts. So we can work out exactly where the scouts were when, uh, where the Shafixti were when they got destroyed. Um, so hopefully, like the two areas will overlap or something, and we can work out exactly where they went, the exact star system they went to, or at least the right constellation. But um, yeah, let's head down to Delta Gorno. Um, now the one thing is that I do remember that in the original Star Control 1, or before Star Control 2, their, their home planet got destroyed because they exploded their sun with a glory device. Um, so maybe they're not actually living there anymore, but we'll have to see if anyone's still there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there's still people there. I wonder why they're hanging out there. Where are they living? Are they living on the same planet that they destroyed? Have they just somehow rebuilt it? I wonder. Greetings, Honorable Captain. Welcome back to Shop Fixy Space. It's been too long. What news from the new alliance of free stars? Hello, Shafixti. How you doing? Um, oh god. Do they not know about what happened? Yeah, they continued to hunt the Korra. We slave shielded the Vux and Mycon. Do you not know about this? We heard of the Vux and the Mycon. Under a slave shield is the best place for them. Okay, so they do know about that. Um, so what about the Lost Scout Patrol? Yeah, let's try and find out about that. That's basically the most important thing right now. So, uh, yeah, what happened to them? As you know, the Alliance has been all but too busy with the Core R to effectively help us in our plight. So some months ago, we started our own program to find a suitable alternative for our home planet. We sent several task forces, four to six scout vessels, to various reaches of this galactic quadrant. Most returned on the date agreed upon, without success, but not all. Three patrols are still missing. Call them, you say. Hyperwave casters that can cover such interstellar distances are few and far between. Such a device costs a fortune and requires a large vessel to be housed on. Neither of which we have. We are hard stretched to keep even this meager scout fleet running. So we had no option but to give each patrol a lot of autonomy and a large area of stars to investigate. They all knew they would be on their own once they left. Yet they volunteered with joy. Please, Captain, find out what has happened to them. 
A lot of those brave ones are my friends. I'll transfer you now the coordinates of the areas that were designated for those lost patrols. Okay, so we've got the coordinates now. We can probably have that on our star map. It's probably going to appear on our star map so we can now work out where they went. Uh, what about, yeah, how, how are they doing on their home planet? Honourable Captain, I cannot lie. It is a strange new age for us, Shofixi. When the Ur Kwan approached, we released the soul of our sun goddess. She burned the enemy, but with great cost to us. Our sacred home, Kyabetsu, was consumed in flames and left devoid of life. We have yet to find a permanent new home. By the wisdom of Kishi Bowen, we are to settle in the third tier of the heavenly realm. Oh, I see. You know not the truth of old. In your words, our colony is on Beta Gono 1. Okay, so they just moved to a different star in the constellation. That's fine. Kishi Bowen? Who's this guy? Who the hell's Kishi Bowen? She is our third littered grandmother, wise in the ways of the Asians and the spirits. It is her leadership that gives us comfort in these sunless times. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we know why he's got the scar because, of course, Tanaka. It was the. It was basically the great, uh, the the founder of the new Shafixti race. So that's not surprising. God's great and small. Bless your right. voyage. Shafixti, thank you for talking to us. Um, that makes you think, actually, because the Micon, they're going to have a bit of trouble if they're stuck in their home planet. Uh, but whatever. Um, I don't care about them. Let's go and find Beta Gorno 1.